JDev is back at it here to give everyone my very first Dexter Season 2 episode review video. Before I get into that though, you already know. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching, you're watching Dexter, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course I'll mention as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case, you're not caught up. It would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Dexter Season 2, Episode 1. The title of this episode is called It's Alive. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So it starts off with Dexter in the car saying, Tonight's the night. It's going to happen. It has to happen, like it did in the pilot episode of Dexter. And Dexter's going bowling. That's what he's talking about, apparently. And Dokes is tailing him. And it's been 38 days, 16 hours, and I don't remember how many minutes he said, uh, have passed since he killed his brother, uh, Brian Moser, or Rudy, whatever you want to call him, the ice truck killer. And Dexter is disturbed that he's good at bowling. Must have been genes uh, that he got from his uh, his father, because his father loved bullying and was really good at it, although he didn't really know him at all. And uh, with Dokes tailing him, it's been all Jekyll and no Hyde, is what he says. So Dexter is going to kill a blind man, and Dexter decides he can't kill the blind voodoo man because he didn't actually do the killing. He put a spell on them a voodoo spell and deb is now living with dexter deb was using the treadmill really late at night and she locks the inside door so dexter can open the door but can't come in it's really fucking annoying and dexter brings dotits to aster and cody and the actor who played cody in the first season has actually been replaced which not a lot of people would notice, but I do, because I did not like the original Cody. Not that Cody really had a big role in the show to begin with, but I think the new Cody is a lot better than the old Cody. Crazy Kofi Man can comment on that if he thinks that's the case. I don't know. And Rita pulls Dexter into the bedroom and says they should have uh, approximately 15 minutes, but Dexter, for some reason, cannot get a hard on because he's got too much on his mind and he wants to kill and. He's not excited because he's not able to kill. So Dexter is uh, looking into the, the, the blind man on the computer and purposely lets Dokes catch him uh, looking at porn. And Dokes says he knows in 10 years that Dexter hasn't rented a porn. So he knows that that was all bullshit. And then we have Soderquist. He makes a... Uh, an appearance. I think that's what his name is. Soderquist, Soderquist, one of the two. And Deb comes back to work. Uh, Pascal wants Deborah Morgan back in the field right away. And Dexter examines a body at a crime scene and he's like clumsy with it. He actually steps in the blood to get Dokes to yell at him more. Like, you know, you watch, watch what you're doing there, Morgan. Just flip my page over here. And then little Chino is behind the murder of this uh, this victim, according to the sister of the victim. Paul is playing Candyman with Cody um, and Aster at jail. And uh, he's playing his version of it. It's not the, the perfect Candyman. It's the jail version because pe pieces are missing. And Paul wants Rita to find the shoe that he lost the night that Dexter hit him with the frying pan that he doesn't know about. And Rita says, there's no shoe. No, Paul, you're going to face this on your own. You're not getting out of this. Little Chino is brought to the station. And, well, he's not so little. He's very, very huge. And then... We see some divers uh, find some of Dexter's uh, bags with body parts uh, in the ocean. Um, they're searching for, they're, I guess they're treasure hunters, and they picked up something. Uh, and that's why they dove in that specific place, and they found some of uh, Dexter's 
uh, hidden treasures uh, down there. And then the Guerda sees Pascal and she's having problems as they both came to the station. Uh, Paul calls and asks Rita about the shoe again. Paul, give it up. Rita doesn't give a shit about the shoe. And she actually tells Paul she found the shoe. Poor Paul. But Rita says, uh, deal with it, Paul. Which is fucking awesome. I love that part. I know some people like Paul. I think he's annoying. And he was somewhat annoying on Lost, too, when he played Jacob, if you didn't know. And then Rita and Deb go out for drinks. A guy at the bar uh, asks Deb a question and like she doesn't answer it. So he goes to touch her shoulder like, hey. And then Deb turns around and breaks his nose, most likely, and says uh, he grabbed her uh, while on Dexter's table. Little Chino, or not so little Chino, uh, gets away because Dexter uh, didn't use enough tape because he's out of practice. It's been a long time since he... Someone was on his table, or it's been a long time since he killed because he had people on the table. He just couldn't do the job with the blind man. So, teenage Dexter tells Harry he's uh, trying to feel alive because he's on a ledge on top of a building, and he, yeah, he's he's gonna jump. It looks like, and Harry stops him. And then Harry's like, what the hell are you doing, Dexter? I don't want you to do that. He's like, no, I was just trying to feel alive because his heart started beating and racing uh, at that point. And there's a couple of scenes with Harry that I didn't talk about in this episode, uh, but it, it was interesting. And then uh, Dexter goes to Rita's and uh, sees her crying. She says the prison called. Paul's dead due to a inmate altercation. And she says she could have helped Paul, but she didn't. And then uh, the episode ends with uh, Deb showing Dexter the news of the treasure hunters finding the parts of Dexter's victims in the ocean. 30 bags have been found, and that's when Dexter's heart starts to be like, I feel alive. And uh, that is the end of the episode. So... Uh, an okay season premiere. I think it could have been a lot better. Considering what we came off of, I would have rather had them start the season with a bang than have kind of a slow build until the middle of the season. I'm going to score the episode an 8.6 out of 10. I like the fact that Rita told Paul, deal with it, Paul. And then, like, Paul's dead. And she was about to start freaking out on Dexter, but she just hugged him instead and cried. And as far as the characters of the episode, I'm going to change it up and I'm going to do spotlight characters of the episode because obviously Dexter and our main characters would win every episode. But I think the two characters that deserve the most credit in this episode are Paul and Little Chino. Just because everybody else is kind of, yeah, in this episode. And I felt like they, Paul, even though he wasn't in a lot of scenes, he had a fun time with his kids. And he called Reed and said, hey, what about that shoe? And, of course, the information that Rita gets that Paul is dead. So uh, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. So that's uh, that's what I got for this episode. So now it's your turn. So if you're a fan of Dexter or Dexter New Blood, or you like hearing me talk about Dexter or anything else on JDev TV, or you want to help me with the YouTube algorithm, go ahead and smash that like button. Share the video with whomever you want, a person, your social media platforms, whatever. If you want, fine with me. Uh, don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode. Who would be uh, your standout characters and what would you score this episode? I know somebody gives it a 10 every episode. And last but certainly not least, I'm always trying to grow this channel. Uh, we're, we're kind of in a, a dry spell here, but I'm, I'm hoping it'll pick up. Uh, soon here like now <laughs> so uh, if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing hit that sub button uh, join the team sure damn support and be a part of something special and jdev will return <laughs>